and here is my recent purchase. It uh, is a Garden Treasures Pergola with canopy. Um, item number 0609521 from Lowe's. Uh, the box is uh, pretty heavy, 250 pounds, um, 7 feet by 7 inches um, by about a foot, um, and then 2 feet wide. So it's a pretty heavy box, uh, had to be delivered, uh, but it fit nicely in the garage. So let's um, take a look what's inside. So here is the pergola box open. And uh, what you will find is, because I've already looked, um, you have your attention stop. Don't return anything to Lowe's, but rather call the manufacturer. Then you have the manual, which is really only a few few pages long and um, uh, seems very simple to read. Um, then there is the a rather nicely laid out um, nuts and bolts and even tools are supplied. Um, I think I'll probably use my own, but um, and there's some touch-up paint. So. Without further ado, let's break open the rest of the stuff and get to work. So I've laid out all the pieces from the hardware to the columns, everything that is required to build the pergola. And that's essentially where it's going to go, is um, right in that spot. So. In a few hours, this will be complete. One thing I noticed is that they put the some of the B2s and A1 and E1, some of these parts are actually found inside of the columns. That's why the columns were so heavy when you pulled them out of the box. So no missing pieces, that's where they're found. And as you can see we have the, we're still in the pre-assembly stage, we have the A2 bars together, we have the C2 bar together, and we are about to put together the all the B's, which starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the B's together and those will be assembled right now. Here are the front and rear beams um, uh, assembled. It is the letter E and D, but make sure that you do not, at this time, screw in the pipe skirt. Don't screw in the pipe skirt because that's going to be, later on, um, used with one of the, the longer bolts not the shorter bolts that have been used in the assembly of, of these guys. So this is the pre-assembly of the post. What we've done already is um, put the post skirt onto the post and put the screw in as well as um, put the, the cap on so that the post skirt can come down. Um, I did spray, as you can see, a little bit of oil, WD-40. I've been doing that on the hardware. Don't know if that's going to help. And um, and then a little bit on the, on the uh, cap on the top of the bolt, and then putting the cap on. And we just laid out the post and the top bar, and I'm um, going to screw in um, on these all together. And. Like I said, I'm using a different, a little bit of a different tool, and to screw in. The tools that were provided are pretty good, but um, for a little quicker, this is what I use. Putting the bolts in. So I tightened the bolts um, pretty good, but I have to say, you know, now I'm putting on the cap. Um, if I tighten them too much. It will bow, make the uh, the washer curve. So I tightened it 
just so that the caps go on um, nice and securely um, and, and not fall off. So I did not tighten the bolts to the point of um, stopping. I just tightened them so that the uh, just enough so they're tight, but also so that the caps can go on nicely. Because I right, did run into a problem earlier where the uh, washer was bending and the cap wouldn't go on as nice. So both the post and beam assembly are, are done and um, next step is going to be put in starting with um, this one here, the A1, A2. Make sure that all the L brackets are facing on the inside. Looks like all of them need to be facing on the inside. Holes here, there, and up there also need to be facing on the inside. The letter M. The two M's need to be on opposite corners. The letter N is also on opposite corner. So N opposite of N. The letter M is a Mary opposite of M. And this is the pergola all put together. Someone looks kind of happy about that. We have just one last thing to do, which is essentially to put on the canopy part, and that'll happen right now. And the canopy is up, and I can attest that it is a one-person job with the help of maybe a canine. Um, at least for the canopy, I was able to put it up completely by myself. A uh, little bit of an effort but worked out just fine. So um, there it is, it's all completely done. Got some cool shade and um, ready to start grilling.